Hey everybody, Ryan Lane with Lane's Rubs and Sauces. I've got my good buddy here, Corey Blackman hey with guys. Wondering Weekends. Uh, make sure you check out his YouTube channel. Really cool stuff going on with some RV camping, right? right? Yeah, yeah. All things RV, Tips, house Tips, tricks, stuff like that. Yep. Cool, and he's been so great to set us up a killer spot here at Fort Yargo. We've got, uh, I mean, the weather is amazing. The leaves. We're on the water, which is crazy. We've got an awesome fire going, and we're going to do some, some cooking over it. So we can't wait. So Ready. we're going to start with the catfish tacos. So we've got our catfish, we've got some cornmeal, some all-purpose flour, a couple eggs just to create our dredge, and then our blackening season. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to season the fish a little bit, cut it in strips, and then we're going to actually season that, that flour mix as well. And so I love doing a little bit of cornmeal, gives it a little texture, right. along with the flour. A little bit it. of crunch. So, yep, a little bit of crunch Very too. Good. So we're going to take... A little bit of cornmeal. We work in ishes here at the campsite, so I'm not even sure how much that is. Cup, maybe? Yeah, so about a cup of each. All right, if you want to season that up. Sounds good. I'm going to take the eggs, Let me know get these stop. in. We've got a little bit of milk. I got kids to send through school. So you this do that is your, as much uh, as you want. <laughs> this is black, the blackening seasoning. That's right. Yep. You guys like it spicy? Yeah. So the beauty is this actually, the blackening isn't that hot. Adds a nice flavor, especially when it's fried too. And then what it'll do is uh, we've got that corn salsa we're gonna put on top. Oh man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna add a little kick. We left a couple of those seeds from the jalapenos in there. Um, well, I can right. confirm this stuff is some of the best blackening stuff, not just because Ryan's here, but uh, it's really, but, really good. But even though I am, but even though he is, that, he did a great job that. with that's it. Fantastic. Yeah. So you grab one of those forks, have that yep. little cup right there. There you go. And then go ahead and mix this up. You'll add a little bit of blackening to the egg wash too. All right. All right. Good. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. All right. And we're actually just going to take this and kind of mix it up just a little bit. All right, Corey, so we got some catfish here. I noodled right, so. them this morning, straight out of Fort Yargo. <laughs> Maybe we should have Hands sore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these in strips, kind of like this. That way they go perfect on the tacos, um, like this. And then once I get these in strips, if you'll kind of put a little bit more seasoning just right on the strips, be great. We're just trying to layer that seasoning in there. All right, bud, so what we got is we've got our catfish. We've got it in strips. We've got our flour mixture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go flour first, uh, just to get a little coating, into the egg wash, back into the flour, and then set to the side. Now, if you have time to do this, the best way to do it is to go ahead and get these dredged up, pop them in your refrigerator for mm -hmm. about an hour. Okay. That way that, that like, outer coat kind of sits a little bit. Okay. And that way it'll stick better when you go to uh, drop it in the uh, fryer. Pro tips. Pro tips. And do you know how we know that? Because the last time we did not do that. And it started coming apart. already smells it's, amazing. It happens the same way with fried chicken. So it's best to kind of let it sit. All right, Corey, we've got the catfish dredged and ready to go. We have got the Dutch oven on the fire, oil is heating up. So uh, let's move this party to the fire Absolutely, pit. I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm looking good. Man, let's do this. Yep. So what's the oil at right now, Ryan? So it's at about 375. We really want to cook it about 350, but I figured the way we're going to maintain this without lid being off, we're going to pop it and it should drop it pretty quick. Okay. And that way it'll maintain that 350 throughout the whole time. Yeah, so we're perfect. All right. So we've got our catfish. We've let it sit in the fridge for about an hour just to kind of like firm up a little bit. Got our pieces. You ready? Corey. 
You're gonna have to hurry. I'm getting hungry, bro. This, this is my favorite time. But this is just our little fat kid appetizer. Of you course. Know what I'm right. I, I know it's a full taco. <laughs> Five tacos, but whatever. All right, so we've got <laughs> our corn salsa that we made in the very beginning. Just corn, bell pepper, jalapeno. We like a little kick in there. Right. We're gonna add a little bit of our sort of white sauce. So this is kind of like a quick little dressing for it. A little sort of white, and then to keep with the heat, we're gonna add some of our one-legged chicken buffalo sauce. The best wing sauce on the planet. This is a quick mix, and it's really just gonna be to just to top it off. And I think this kind of adds some acidity to it. You got that fried fish on there. Uh, so we took some corn tortillas and flour tortillas, got those heated up, which, how you wanna go? I'll go corn. Corn, all right, yes, I'll go sir. flour. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our piece of fish, so we got our strips right here. And go, got yours. Because the, the crew looks super hungry, we'll save some. But this way, actually, the blackening doesn't God, have so a good. ton of salt content in it. Right. So this adds a little bit more of that uh, sweet, salty, just at the very end. Hit it with a I'm sprinkle. Throw mine, yeah, a man. More on mine, Hit me actually. up too. Good. Yeah. Perfect. All right, bro. All right, ready? Hey, thank you for having hey, us out here, man. This absolutely. has been fantastic. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Thank you, guys. You Hope you enjoyed. Mm. <laughs> so good. That's salsa. Like the camp. Man, yeah. That salsa's also killer. That bright. It's just so fresh, too. Yeah. That's, really good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm.